In this tutorial, we'll look at creating a spline and then sending a camera on top of that spline so that the spline can be used as the motion path of the camera. Let's have a look at how that's done. So first off, I'm going to come out of the camera by clicking on that button and I'm going to start creating a new camera from scratch. So it doesn't really matter where this new camera is because we're going to create a spline to be used as the path. So let's go create a camera anywhere. So let's call this new camera spline camera. And the old one I'll rename this to be tracking cam. I want the spline camera to follow a specific path. So let's go and draw that path. Let me go to my top view in here and let me get my pen tool. I'll set this to be in the B spline mode and let me zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to go and draw a curvy path. So I'm going to go click here and then maybe click and then click and then click here and then here maybe. And I press escape to come out of this. And then I'll go to my side view, let's say the left view here. And if I get my move tool and then zoom out a little more, I can now select these points and then move them up and down so that we create a slightly different variation on the shape. So it goes down and maybe this one goes up. In fact, I'm going to change this so that none of these points go below the floor in case we need to create a floor and the cameras don't go through the floors. So that's the final one. I'm going to lift this up as well like that. And if I go back to my top view and let's say I want to rotate the entire path. So if I go to my model tool here and then get my rotate tool, I can rotate this on the Y axis like that, maybe a little bit, not too much. And then I'll go to my perspective view. And if I zoom out, I should be able to see my first camera, the tracking cam that's moving. So if I go into it, just double check that it's still working. So that's moving with the bike. That's great. I'll go back and then come back out. And the spline camera, I want this one to follow that path. So I'm going to go right click on the spline camera and then go to Cinema 4D Tags and I'll choose Align to Spline. This tag allows you to put an object onto a spline so you can move it from the beginning of the spline to the end or vice versa. So I now need to put the spline inside the spline path here of the tag. So if I select the spline, just drag it in here, you see right away the camera will jump to the beginning of that spline. So you see the camera is there. And all I have to do now is to animate the position of the camera on this Align to Spline tag. So with that tag selected, if you come down to Position, you can just click and animate this, and you'll see the camera will be following that path exactly as you drew it. So let's go ahead and keyframe this. So I'm going to go to frame 10 again. That's when the bike starts moving. So let me just make this precise. So I'll go and set this to frame 10. I'll keyframe the position at 0%. I'll then go to frame 250 and then change this to 100% and then keyframe this again. If I now look at the scene through the camera's perspective and if I rewind and then play, you see the camera will be following that path exactly. But the problem of course here is that the camera is looking away from the bike for most part. So I'm going to go pause this and then go back to the beginning and then we have one more tag that we'll look at and that's called the target tag. So if you go right click on the camera Go to Cinema 4D Tags, right towards the bottom, it says Target. If I go Create This, it then asks you, all right, what is the target? Now I'm going to make my bike the target. So this camera is always looking at the bike now. So if I go back and play it again now, even as the camera is kind of passing through the bike, the bike's always going to be in the center of my view. There we go. At that point, right in the middle, somewhere here, the camera was quite close to the tire there. That's actually looking not too bad, but let's say you didn't want this. Well, you can simply go and adjust the spline. So let me come out of the camera and select my spline and go to my move tool and go and select a point on the spline. I can't see the points properly now, so let me go to my point tool here. There we go. I can lift that point up and maybe move it back a little bit so it's away from the bike. I can now go into the camera and you see it's no longer as close to that tire as it was before. So if I go back and play again, you see as the camera is flying through, it's not going to get that close to the bike as it was before. Using the Align to Spline tag together with the Target tag, you can make a camera jump onto a spline and then fly through the scene using that spline, all the while looking at a particular object that you set as the target inside the Target tag.